guys. I know it's, I've been away, but I've been working on a build. My car is a mess right now, so. I actually won at a raffle these things right here. It's a bunch of brake pads. There's obviously four. And then I also got some, Look at these babies. Look at those. Dang, those things are huge. My hand is so small to this. Good lord. They're beautiful though. These are rotors. They're from R1 Concepts. I actually won these on a raffle. And I got pretty lucky because I never win anything. Like nothing. So I won front and rear. These are pretty heavy. Another box in a box. Wow, these things are beautiful. God, this one is heavy. Look at this. Drill, slotted. These are awesome. These are gonna go on the car uh, pretty soon. As soon as everything comes along together, because right now my car is a total mess. It is taken apart because a lot of new things are going to be coming in. So I'm excited for these. This this whole package was like almost 80 pounds. Like I feel sorry for the mailman alone because it was pretty heavy. Last one. Yep. It's beautiful. So yeah. Keep up onto the next build. Okay guys, so you guys saw the whole rotors and what I got pretty much from R1 Concepts. So, I know my build is coming along as I told you my car has been apart for a good while. It has no front bumper. So, I had to buy these daytime running lights that come with the, I think it's the 14. 14, yeah, 2014 to 2000 to today's present. Um, they come with daytime running lights. I unfortunately sold mine when I was in an accident. So I'm going to open this box right here. Is the address showing? No, okay, good. Open here. It's unopened. Let's see how this thing came packaged. Okay. Wow. The, the box was actually really wet because it was raining real bad in California. So let's get this thing open. There's a lot of tape. Now, shout out to the guy Chris who hooked me up on these lights for a good price. It's a, it's a dang steal here. Oh my God, this guy packed it so tight. I like it though. I mean, as long as they're well protected because these are very expensive. He said there were a couple broken tabs, which I'm supposing it's these right here. This. These right here, yes. He did a little bit of wiring to extend the wires, so that's good. I mean, they look pretty, pretty good. Now this is the other one condensation in there but that should be fine I'll just try to maybe get it open and cleaned up so yeah it looked pretty good it has a little bit of water spots I don't know if you guys can see it you guys see where it says water right well yeah there's a little tiny water spot so you guys see that there yeah we're gonna have to get that cleaned out it's all the way further up in Dang, let it adjust. Yeah, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, we're gonna clean it up. They should be working just fine pretty dang soon. These are gonna look really good with the next bumper that's coming on, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm really excited to show you this whole new thing, and this whole new build. I'm gonna try to get these tinted, because I don't like the chrome, so 
we'll see how that gets done, guys. All right, now let's hop on to the next part that I'm getting. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go. What's up, guys? All right, so you guys just saw the daytime running lights, so I'm gonna show you something else, another car part that I'm gonna be getting. So, these lights, this chrome bothers me. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of the chrome headlights from the my 370Z and it's gonna be a whole different change I mean it does make color does make a difference on this so here's this All right you see these chrome headlights they look real I just don't like the chrome this chrome I just I can't stand it right there's no headlight there because I took off that one already now we walk over here to my buddy Z here he's got the Nismo bumper Nismo side skirts Nismo front bumper as you can see that is my old headlight he has no headlight there his front bumper Nismo front bumper with the daytime running lights from Evo R and uh, yeah we're getting progress done here so you see these headlights it's a huge difference it has the halo headlights here it has this white mark I'll probably get this redone with some uh, light up switches here so I have to do that it's a whole I've got to pay more for that obviously but as you can see it makes a huge difference the black to the chrome right so it don't match with everything of the whole car black on black on just murdered out you see that there's no more tread like it's so bad it's starting to it's my tires are so bad you can start seeing cracks I need to get tires before I leave to this special event that you guys will be joining as well. Now this is Ricardo. How's going? He's the one who is switching me these headlights. So these were mine. And the ones you guys saw over there. I have so much for you guys to show you. A new front bumper, the daytime running lights, these black headlights. So I'm just showing you of how I'm getting part by part. So that's pretty exciting. I'm showing you kind of the behind the scenes of getting everything done. It's it costs money, it costs time, it's it's, it's just a lot. Go on. How, how much time and how much money have you spent on just your build, Ricardo? This one has been, I don't know, time, but probably 30 grand, which I'm not getting any of that back now. <laughs> yeah, he's put in so much into his car. He's got some expensive wheels going on there. He's, as you can see, he has a 510 Datsun, right? Yeah. And then uh, another 510, another 510 Datsun. Uh, and a third one behind that car cover. I mean, this guy has a whole collection of just Datsuns and Nissans, and he's got so much going on. As you can see, this is his dream garage, which is mine as well. He's already achieved it. <laughs> as you can see. Do you guys see all this under the car of this Datsun 510? Like, he has so much going on down here. Good lord. I'm really excited to show you guys once that installation is done. So we just had to mess with some wires and then take them off, take off everything, the headlight. It was pretty easy. Putting this headlight on his home. It was easy, right? Yeah, I mean, it took like 30 seconds. Yeah. So like 30 seconds, right? So easy. Well, guys, this is the final look of it, actually. So it looks really good with the carbon fiber and you see those wires yeah those are the, gonna be the halos around it I just got to get those installed once the whole bumper is on but look at the halos with the turn signals you guys can barely see it at all but it looks so beautiful it blends in so well the black on black look is going to look amazing I can't wait for it I can't thank Ricardo enough for these headlights man <laughs> What do you think? You think it looks good with yeah, the black? Really good. I like it a lot. Do you see Ricardo's Z now with the my chrome headlight? I mean, it looks a whole lot different from the one I have. Yeah. So wow, he's actually going to be switching this car. He's going to be trading it for a Nissan Titan Titan diesel. I mean, those calipers. I could have took those, man. You can, <laughs> I would have traded you. Okay guys, so as you guys can see those halos on there, it looks really cool. I just have these 
on for you so you guys can see a little outlook of how it's supposed to be looking with the white halos but it's not wired until I get the daytime running lights you guys just saw so after the bumpers installed the daytime running li lights are installed those will be white so it should be looking pretty good I'm really excited for this build thank you Rick again alright man thank awesome. you thank you Appreciate thank you so it. much awesome. for the work What's up guys, now you guys saw that whole headlight modification. I got those in the mail, the daytime running lights. I also, what else? I think that's about it so far. So, you guys are seeing behind the scenes of everything that is going on until I show you the whole entire video of how my car will look like in the end. So, I have one more part, that is it. One more part for the car. I mean, everything is flowing really good. So I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek preview of the new front bumper because the other, I've been riding like this for about a month because the other front bumper was sold and so yeah I, I think it's it's time for a new one this one's gonna look really you know? so this is the front bumper I'm about to show you ready okay so the fitment is perfect on these as you guys can see those lights that are that I bought in the mail you guys remember they're going to go right here so you're gonna see the daytime running lights. I'm gonna put mesh in here. I'm not really liking this thing in the back, so I'm gonna take that off. And then, no mesh here at all. No mesh, no mesh, right here. Mesh right here. That is it. These are gonna stay empty. Then these will turn white later on. But the fitment, the fitment is really spot on on this. Like I'm really liking it. Like everything lines up perfectly. I mean, little small gap, but and on this side, you got a really small, you actually have almost no gap. It looks like it fit perfectly out of OEM. And then after that, it's going to have a carbon lip that's going to come out right here. All at the bottom. So it's going to look a little bit lower. I do plan on lowering it soon. So it's going to look pretty badass. Now I have the bumper of the Varus bumper with the carbon diffuser. So, it's finally going on with the Ferris front bumper. I just gotta lower it a bit because I'm not liking people seeing through here. It looks kind of weird, like, uh, behind everything, how to make the uh, bolts in order to connect to that daytime running light I showed you guys. Put mesh here, mesh in here, no mesh here. Just keep it clean. I just can't wait to show you guys the next thing that's gonna come forward. Now the next thing, I know I have too much carbon fiber, but there's never enough carbon fiber for this entire car. So I got one more thing to show you, and that's going to be in a few seconds. I'm going to show you it's on to the next thing, the next car part. I'm really excited to show you guys the end result. It's come a long way from since I bought it, a really long way. What's up guys? So my car is completely done, but I'm not going to show you until the daytime because a lot of you were complaining on how in the, day, in the nighttime I didn't show you everything. So I'm going to show you everything tomorrow in the morning because I got to edit this vlog. But right now we're going to go to a car meet. I'm not going to show you anything of my car just yet. If you have me on Snapchat, you probably saw it already. But as you can see right now, I'm in Las Vegas tonight for a car meet that's going on tomorrow in the morning as well. We got a we got a big house. We got like one, two, three, four, five, six, go seven. Go we got like nine Z's. Go so it's pretty pretty packed. 